You may be done with the heaviest dinner, but there's always room for dessert. And you may be done with the year 2022, but there's always time to know what is going to be coming your way in the car world in 2023. So here's our list of upcoming cars for next year. In the interest of accuracy, any car that's made it to this list, it's based off some level of manufacturer source related input that we could back it up with. Any car that we couldn't get at least some amount of concrete information about, we have not included in the main list. This isn't necessarily what the final car will be called, but effectively this is what it is. A crossover that's based on the Maruti Suzuki Baleno, acting as sort of a bridging solution between the Espresso on one side and the Brezza on the other. It's expected to take a lot of its styling cues from the Maruti Suzuki Grand Vitara, so maybe we can call it the, I don't know, Mild Vitara? It's also going to get a lot of features from the Baleno itself, so surround view camera, heads up display, HD touchscreen and the works. Now as of now it is expected to get the 1.2 litre petrol engine that's shared with the Baleno and there are some rumours suggesting that the 1 litre turbocharged 3 cylinder booster jet engine will make a comeback with this car but we have not got any source to substantiate that claim just yet. Well, effectively, we are looking at the most expensive Maruti Suzuki ever offered. Yes, the Toyota Innova Hi-Cross is going to have its own Maruti Suzuki counterpart that's going to bear a different design language. At long last, it is finally happening. Yes, the Maruti Suzuki Jimny 5-door is going to be launched next year. Now, as it stands, we are going to be getting a 1.5-litre 4-cylinder petrol engine with this car, of course, with 4x4. And some inputs and some sources are suggesting that it may be named the Gypsy in India. And subsequently, this could just be a car that's going to hold a great deal of relevance to India's armed forces. Toyota is expected to introduce an updated Hilux next year. This pickup truck is not going to be a brand new model or a significant overhaul, but it is expected to get some useful feature additions like a surround view camera and potentially ADAS as well. This was actually a car we were expecting to see introduced in 2022 itself. The Hyundai Greta facelift is going to take a great deal of inspiration from the Hyundai Tucson, with a Tucson-inspired front fascia, Tucson-derived digital instrument cluster, and potentially this time around, it's also going to get ADAS. The 2023 Hyundai Verna is going to be a very big deal. Aside from being a feature-loaded car as it always has been, this time around Hyundai is looking to make the sedan a lot larger in size and deliver a more buddy gadi wali experience. Effectively, what they're looking to do with this generation of the Verna is move it up a segment sort of, get it closer to topping out at Rs 18 lakh, 19 lakh ex showroom and essentially eliminating the need for a Hyundai Elantra-like sedan in the first place. Hyundai is also expected to introduce a subcompact car that will slot in below the Hyundai venue. Basically, a Tata Punch and Citroen C3 rival. But it is not going to be the Hyundai Casper. Details are speculative for now, so we won't give you any unsubstantiated details about the car for the sake of it. This aside, the Hyundai Aura and Grand Eten Neos are also likely to get facelifts in 2023. Jeff Hardy has Matt, Devon Dudley has Baba Ray, Kane has The Undertaker and the Hyundai Creta has the Kia Seltos. Yes, next year the Kia Seltos is going to get a significant update and that's going to include a much sharper and sportier design, new alloy wheels, a new connected LED taillight setup, redesigned center console and an updated dual screen cockpit as well. We're expecting this car to be launched next year and definitely showcased at the 2023 Auto Expo. The Citroen C3's electric counterpart is expected to be introduced next year. Now, as it stands, we don't have any official specs out just yet, but based on what we've seen in that segment and price territory, you're looking at a car that may just have a real-world range of anywhere between 180 to 220 kilometers, although ARAI claims may be close to the 300 mark. Now, this is an electric vehicle that is based on an ICE platform of the Citroen C3 itself, which means the car will be getting heavier. So we're hoping that Citroen's engineers can work their magic and retain the Citroen C3's fantastic ride comfort. If there's anyone who knows how to milk a platform, it's Force Motors. So when they introduced the 3-door Force Gurkha, the wait for the 5-door Force Gurkha began. 
In 2023, we're expecting the 5-door Gurkha to be introduced and based on what we've seen in the spy shots, it's going to be available as a car with 3 rows, seating up to 9 people. That aside though, we aren't expecting any updates or upgrades necessarily on the features or powertrain front. If you've been following the FIFA World Cup from India, you might be all too familiar with this car because of the advertising campaign that they've been running. Yes, the Mahindra XUV 400 is here and it's going to be launched in 2023. The main talking point about this car is that the XUV 400 is based on the car that the XUV 300 was originally based on, the Sangyong Tivoli, but it hasn't been chop sized to under 4 meters, which means it has a lot of the qualities of the XUV 300, but with better boot space. But while the car itself hasn't been chop sized, this is a car that is looking to do a lot of road chopping with a claimed 0 to 100 time of 8.3 seconds and, of course, a platform platform that is impressed at Global NCAP's crash tests. Both the Tata Safari as well as the Tata Harrier are expected to get extensive facelifts next year. Now this time around, the focus is going to be making both their designs look more mature, more sophisticated and make it more appealing for premium car buyers, both in terms of what they look up front and at the rear. The design changes could also extend to redesigned alloy wheels and potentially upsized, maybe 19-inch wheels as well. There's no word on the petrol engine so far though. We'd slot this one into the category of weird car launches in India. The MG Air EV has already been unveiled overseas in select markets as the Wuling Air EV with a claimed range of anywhere between 200 to 300 kilometers. Now this car is very compact but it's also very space optimized and coming in with tech with like a dual screen setup as well as connected car tech. However, while it is a very small car, it's not expected to be particularly cheap, with prices likely to start around Rs 10 lakh ex showroom. And lastly, we have the Hyundai Ioniq 5. The Kia EV6's Hyundai counterpart is going to be introduced in India, bringing with it heaps of tech, heaps of cool, and heaps of accolades from all around the world as well. The features list is going to include bits like a panoramic sunroof, adjustable armrest console and even slight adjustable rear seats with range figures sitting somewhere between 350 and 480 kilometers depending on what version we get here in India. If you want all the dirt on this car, go ahead and check out the ZIG FF that's linked in the description down below. Now some honorary mentions of cars that we couldn't confirm for a launch in 2023 so far. Some reports suggest that the Renault Duster will be making a comeback and while we are excited about the potential of this rugged beast coming back in a more modern avatar, it may still be in the early stages of development. The Honda WRV was unveiled in Indonesia with a brand new design and this time around it does look a lot more purpose built and cool as well. Now, Honda India's plans were supposed to include an Amaze based SUV, which this WRV is, but as per our latest reports, those plans were shelved in favor of a city based SUV that's going to be competing with the Maruti Suzuki Grand Vitara and Hyundai Creta. So, for now, the Honda WRV in India is a maybe. The Mahindra Thar 5 door is coming and the test mules have reached a very advanced stage. But it may still be anywhere from a year to a year and a half before the final production car is given the go-ahead. Now, Mahindra has slotted the launches of both the Thar 5-door as well as the all-new Bolero anytime between 2023 and 2026. So, a launch in 2023 is possible, but it's not a hard confirmation just yet. The Tata Curve now, this car is supposed to be launched in 2024, so we may just see a near production ready concept or prototype being revealed closer to the end of 2023, although we aren't expecting a launch necessary next year. But keep an eye out for those test mules. So that's our list of expected launches for 2023. And before you get into the comments and say, oh, you forgot about this, wait. There will be more car launches than these. These are just based on the concrete inputs that we could get from our manufacturer's sources. But if you feel that there are cars from this list that are missing or that we should have included, go ahead and drop those names in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe and follow us on Instagram too. Bye-bye.